Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and we got our final sneak peek for this bizarre Captain America mid month update. And this one starts to solidify the theory, the speculation that players had regarding what Captain America was doing in a teaser in November. So here we go. This superhero who once proclaimed a war against crime leads the hand with his demonic fist, the other side of justice. Check out the new looks and abilities of this superhero who has devoted his life to destroying all crime. This is the last sneak peek, which again is going to activate all of the anger and confusion from Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever fans. And I'm with you there. I'm just trying to make sense of this. So if you don't know who we're talking about yet, if you take a look at the sneak peek here, uh, it's a little bit better than the captain america one i still think the sneak peek team is on vacation or something i'm not i'm not quite sure what's going on here but yes that is none other than frank castle aka the punisher and this is a brand new look you can see the tier 3 logo looking like the blade font in the background there that's the tier 3 logo again very easy to spot no tricks or or clues or anything like that um but this is a brand new logo that was created this year for the Punisher. And he's not wearing any sort of mask or any sort of headgear. He's just rocking his his own look. And we get just a character model, uh, you know, kind of thing. So, okay, let, let's start with what's good about this. All right, so Punisher's getting a new uniform and a tier three. That's pretty much confirmed now. What's good about this is, on the one hand, Punisher desperately needs an upgrade, desperately. This was the last one he got in mid-2020. So we're talking two and a half years since he's gotten something. And generally speaking, they haven't done a good job with Punisher. These uniforms were mostly bad to mid. This was really his first meta uniform. But even then, this uniform had issues with survivability, with doing enough consistent damage because of the accumulation when damage taken, and with the actual animations. that He had a uh, um, sort of bike and it was strange because the wheels were hilariously octagonal but anyways he was meta ish he slipped out of the meta eventually but he was meta ish he's still pretty good uh surprisingly good as, as a tier two for shadowland because he has remove all buff effects i would guess that he's gonna lose most of those abilities like obviously the burn damage and things like that he's gonna lose and the, the buff the buff removal the all buff removal he's going to lose because he's probably also going to lose the universal uh, type and he's going to go back to combat and he's also going to lose the power cosmic. That doesn't necessarily make him weaker though because this version of Punisher is imbued with the power of the hand sort of like how when Daredevil became like the demon and he was much, I think he's called the demon and he was much stronger. But this is a 2022 comic run so this is very recent. You can see there's Frank Castle. We can see here again Frank Castle with the new look, with the new um, uh, chest logo. Uh, and he's actually strong enough with this power imbued by the hand that he's able to take down Ares, the god of war. Not, not Kratos, no. But he's able to take down Ares, who's actually quite strong in the comics despite not having that power, you know, transcend into the game. So this Punisher is no joke. So... I don't think this is really an echo situation where he's like downgrading. I know these are powers that he got from cosmic beings, but still, I do think that this is going to give him a run for the money. It's going to bring him back to his roots as a character, which I think some people are going to like, because as much as this cosmic Ghost Rider is very cool in the comics, taking care of baby Thanos, etc., he also does not give you the vibe of the Punisher, right? There's no guns in the traditional sense. They're like, they're blasters. There's no bullets, there's no knives, right? There's chains and flames, which are all cool. But again, the, the quintessential Punisher is coming back, minus the logo in the middle, okay? Uh, but yeah, so that's what's good about it. And obviously him getting a tier three is great because it upgrades his power as well. He'll be able to be used in more content. He's got a, you know, team buffing leadership. Okay, cool. So what's, what's the downside here? So the downside here, oh, sorry, one other upside. Clearly, doing both Punisher and Captain America in early November is a nod to Veterans Day or Memorial Day, whatever, Rem Remembrance Day, whatever you want to call it. 
um and i think that that's nice although it's not explicitly mentioned by the devs they probably don't want to monetize something like memorial day when you remember fallen soldiers and veterans who gave their lives uh for different countries uh I, I don't know i don't know how it works exactly but i think that's pretty clearly their target demographic when they're upgrading both cap and punisher um because they are like you know military icons in the mcu so that's nice that's that's a nice thing now let's get to the not so nice stuff another combat An another combat another combat you're gonna hear this all day long because that's what all anyone's gonna say another combat not only is this another combat but it's another combat who's gonna have to compete with all of the existing another combats that we have right we're about to get our sixth combat tier four so what is this tier three combat gonna offer us that captain america venom moon knight carnage hulk and namor can't what what exactly is he is he gonna offer us okay he's a hero so he doesn't have to compete with hulk uh, Carnage and Namor, but he has to compete with Moon Knight, Venom, and Captain America. That's going to be pretty tough. And Captain America is going to have to be as good or better than Moon Knight and 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 Venom. Otherwise, why did you introduce him? It like guys, <laughs> there's oversaturation, and then there's whatever the hell this is. It just doesn't make any sense. So yeah, that's the first thing that people are going to uh, talk about and complain about. And I don't I don't blame them at all it is it is definitely it's a bit of a shit show i know that combat types take up more, like a higher percentage of types if you take a look here we have 53 universals we have 65 blast which is a lot uh we have 64 speed and then we have 70 combat so yes we have five more combats than any other typing i know that however the balancing is just not there the balancing is just not there we've gotten so much of a focus on combats this year and what worries me is that the more the more this slides in the direction of combats the more it's going to have to slide in the direction of another typing and we just like this is not something that i want them to continue i don't know why the devs got it in their head that we wanted like like 10 updates in a row if you count the mid months where the focus is on a combat character either tier three or tier four but um it's it's wild like you know 50 we've only gotten four new characters this year and 50 percent of them have been one typing <laughs> combat it's it's absolutely it's absolutely bonkers right it's it's just bonkers and you know it also comes at a time when to the detriment of the the timing people were hoping to see things that were more Black Panther related. Now, I know he already got a uniform last year, but people were really hoping to see an upgrade for Black Panther that was actually meta. That's a really important thing to, to, to mention and to make sure that people remember. He is not meta, and he basically never was meta. He wasn't meta when he got his first movie. He was not meta at this point because one month later, Tier 3 came out, and Captain America was the first Tier 3, and he obliterated everybody. So this dude has never been meta. That's the first thing. That's the first important thing. The second important thing to remember is we got a Black Panther update where none of the characters even remotely resemble Black Panther. You have discount Tony Stark in, in the caves. You've got I'm going to the gym Shuri. And then you've got M'Baku. Okay, that's it. That's all. That's you know what I mean? Like it's it's just and of course Namor, right? Yeah, I know. But it's just like it's having an Ant-Man uniform, having an Ant-Man update and having a bunch of civilian uniforms for the characters and no Kang. Everyone would be like, what the hell are you guys doing? What are you smoking? Right. If you think about all the Disney Plus updates, although they have been small and they've been missing any new characters like no Agatha for WandaVision, you know, no, um, no agent, US agent for for Captain Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, no Sylvie for Loki, no Layla for, or Lila for Moon Knight. Okay, yeah, all those shows were missing new characters. And, oh, spoilers, that's bad. But you know what the shows weren't missing? The title character getting the upgrade that they deserve. Wanda, Vision. We got Wanda and we got Vision. Whoa, what a crazy concept. The show calls Loki, we get two uniforms for Loki. Wow, 
What a crazy idea. Are you guys really sure you want to do this? So they've been doing this for six years. They've literally been doing this for six years where it's like, hey, guys, here's a movie. Here's the character from the movie. OK, cool. That's what we've gotten used to for six freaking years, seven years. And now all of a sudden they're like, yeah, you know what, guys? Yeah, Black Panther 2 Wakanda forever. Mm, I don't know. Let's just let's just not do anything. Now, I know there might be a part two later on. But I, I, they're leaving a lot of they're leaving a lot of money on the table, I feel like, by stretching this out so much. And I don't I don't understand where this is coming from. I'm I, you know, there's a possibility that Marvel are just being extra crotchety lately, which is very disappointing because we used to get updates a couple of days after movies came out and the updates would have spoilers. But the movie's already out, dog, and the game is not played by every person under the sun and under the moon. So it's not that big of a deal. Or, or delay the update by a couple of weeks and then just release everything. Like, I would have been fine if Captain America and Punisher had were released, you know, two weeks ago or a week ago. And then in a week from now, we get the full Black Panther update with everything. Synergy uniforms, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know what I mean? But it's th this this patchwork way of doing things where it seems like they don't know what they're doing, even if they do know what they're doing, but we can't tell. It just doesn't work. It does not work. Players get nervous. People are confused. The marketing sucks mega balls. Okay, not just regular balls and not the power ball, but mega balls. The marketing sucks. No one is playing this game for... I'm sorry, but no no new player is coming to this game for workout outfit Shuri. They're not. I know Shuri's really cool and really good. Yes, she is. And Bast is really cool. Yeah, I know. But no one's gonna sorry, Bast is not in this in this um in this clip. But no one is no one is downloading the game for this, my dog. They're downloading the game for Black Panther and Namor. And they only have Namor, right? So it just like it just blows my mind. The marketing is so ass so ass for this movie and i just feel like the devs are just up their own asses i don't i don't know what the hell they're smoking and the other thing that worries me i don't know exactly how it works so maybe i'm wrong here but i don't know maybe they they want to save money so they're not paying the same like I, I don't know how it works do they just have like a, a running partnership where they can just they can just use anything from any piece of content as long as marvel gets approval or do they have to pay individually for the rights to individual things if it's the second case, then maybe they're trying to save money by having these half-ass MCU updates uh, where they don't really have to license as much uh, uh, of it. I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. But it just doesn't make any sense, man. The MCU updates used to be huge. The, the, the game used to be MCU update-centric. And now it feels like the MCU updates are an afterthought. Like, we got more content for Fear itself than we have for Black Panther 2. Make that make sense. Make that make sense to me. B Fear itself is like, what, a 10-year-old comic run? And that shit gets more uh, work from the devs than, than Wakanda Forever? It doesn't make... Dude, the movie made $90 million in one day. Make it make sense, because it doesn't make any effing sense, man. It just, it just pisses me off. It's just dumb as hell. <sighs> so anyways, yeah, that's going to be the update. Captain America Tier 4 with a brand new uniform. And uh, and uh, Punisher Tier 3 with a new uniform. And then we basically just cross our fingers and hope that we get a, a, a part two for Black Panther. I don't know. There could have even, people are even saying there could have been an epic quest, right? Atuma, Namora. There's a, there's a bunch of new characters that are featured in the movie. They're not in the game. Okoye, right? She's been in the freaking MCU verse for like five years now. We don't have her as a new character either, but Marvel Strike Force does. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Wait, no, it doesn't. Yeah, man. I don't know. M MFF, MFF kind of, kind of acting a fool lately. Um, and then they're gonna be like, people don't want to spend money on Black Friday. What? But we gave them Captain America. You're, you guys are idiots. This, this dude does not sell. This dude does not push units. Pe people are not the, the people who are, who are bussing for this uniform. They're free to play. I'm sorry, I, I, or, or whatever. Like you don't like. I'm sorry. I think they miss. I, I think they they miscalculated what's really getting the whales. You know, what's really catch, especially new whales. Okay, existing whales, sure, they're gonna spend money on Captain America, whatever. But like new whales, again, you have an entire sea of MCU fans. You could definitely hook a few whales.
Definitely. I don't know, man. It just it just feels like a miss. It feels like a big miss. Anyways, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll stop ranting. Take care.